Well, hey everyone, it's the Drunken Otaku here, and today we're reacting to Oomar Guitari episode 6, The Sadachi Lost Part 3, and I said in the comments, and I probably said it last episode, I'm going to say it again though, Sadachi's voice acting has been so damn good. I mean, it's made my skin crawl. It's going to haunt me <laughs> probably for the rest of my life. Her recounting that tale. And that, that is so brutal, so raw, so much emotion in it. Emotion I cannot speak tonight. It was utterly fantastic. Combined with the visuals, man. Oh. This has been an incredible series of arcs. Absolutely fantastic. I've got the sniffles today. My allergies are kicking my butt, so I do apologize ahead of time. But we're going to start this off here in 3, 2, 1. And now it starts. There we go. Check the what in the world. What did she want? All right. Zugi. Popping out right between them. Yep. God damn. Oh my god. Okay.
<laughs> All right. What's she doing? Oh, washing the dye out. She got that? She got it? True. It's no good. We can absolutely not tell this. She died. No. Ooh, that looked warm. She was already dead and taking care of the body. No, I think you're you're way off on this one, buddy.
supposedly stopped eating completely. Yep. This frantic buildup is amazing. Man, that was... That's fucking, that's fucking heartbreaking right there. Yeah. True. Fair enough, though. And that's true, too.
well said right there. Deep down, she knew. He doesn't do that shit. I mean, not now. God. Looking for a lost child. That was my original starting point. Oh. Interesting.
Mm-hmm. That's a real objective of hers right there, I bet. <laughs> From your left. This music right here is a fucking fantastic moment. Ah, the piano line. <laughs> no idea, <laughs> honestly. A whole bunch of blank papers. <laughs> so you can let his imagination fill in the contents. <laughs> I know it's three arcs, but they were so closely linked together, and they, the time frame was just like one night after the other, man. It just felt like really one arc. So this arc, <laughs> I'm going to say this arc, was fucking fantastic. I mean, I know I was quieter than I usually am, but I was so enraptured with what was fucking going on. I was so engrossed with it. We got so much Oogie, and she is fucking fascinating. And that's the second time we found out she was looking for Maori, you know. Maui. And, um... Kind of hinted at that she's the darkness, but I don't think she's actually the darkness, you know. I could be wrong. Maybe something that fills a similar role in some respects. Oh, man. I'm missing the Fire Sisters, though. I am missing their, uh, their little preview quizzes at the end of every episode <laughs> of the second season. And I think we had them in Nisei as well. Hell, they might go all the way back to Bake, honestly. But, um, yeah, I miss those little tib tibbits at the end. So, we've got one more arc of this series left, and then we move on to the um, Kyoma Monogatari. Yeah. Those are short episodes, so I'll probably do uh, doubles of each of those every time I watch one.
That was just a really good. It was dark as fuck though. So whoever told me it was dark, it was dark. That was dark as fuck. And real as fuck. And that's why it was so dark because it was so fucking real. You know, they weren't dealing with an, an oddity or an aberration. They were dealing with stuff that people deal with. They were dealing with something that was outside of the child's control and shows you how that can just really permanently fuck up a person. But there was that glimmer of hope at the end of her just, you know, being able to move on past it and finally find her own happiness, overcoming the issues that she had. Definitely noticing a lack of Shinobu with this arc for this series so far. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad I started watching this series. I really am. It is freaking... Phenomenal. <sighs> yeah, but even right now I'm just being quiet because I'm just being introspective, just thinking, you know. It's hard to put all my thoughts on this <sighs> down and sound them all out. This might be my, one of my favorite arcs from Monogatari at this point. It was just so chilling and so real, raw. All right, well, this is Drunken Otaku. I'm heading out for now. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later.